like you to sit tall. Gently lift your gaze and close your eyes. Have the palms upturned on your lap. And feel the body heavy and soft. But keep your posture tall through the spine and the crown of the head. Don't lift the chin like this. Keep the chin level with the floor. And visualize your beloved friend, whoever they may be. See them smiling. See them healthy and see them calm. Think of the things that you enjoy about this individual. And then look into their eyes. And go deeper than the way they speak, the things they do, their likes and their dislikes, and their habits and their quirks. Go deeper into who they are. And try to feel with your heart their inner motivation Maybe there are layers to this experience. But whatever it is that they do or don't do, at their very center, they're seeking joy. They're seeking peace. They're seeking freedom. Freedom from suffering worry and tension and can we not relate to this in ourselves and so with the eyes closed visualize their face peaceful and calm <clears throat> feel in your own heart a desire to help them, a desire to support them, the desire to see them accomplish their goals, and more importantly know in your mind and in your heart a hundred percent decide to know or to believe that they will accomplish their goals and that all of their dreams will be fulfilled sooner or later. And think of your purpose, your own purpose in this relationship now. What might it be? In this crazy world that we live in, with all the activity, movement, busyness and confusion. Everybody fighting for me and mine. Choose to help your friend. Make a promise in your heart to try harder and harder until you perfect your ability to see the highest in them, to relate to them from their center instead of from the periphery. The little things that they do right or wrong, 
don't matter. Your connection with them is deeper than this. And so meet them in the heart. Meet them in the quiet stillness inside. Love them, their inner child, their deepest soul yearning, the source of their wisdom and kindness. Love their center and never forget it again. And no matter what they do, smile in your heart and know who they are inside because there are going to be times when they forget and it will be your opportunity to remember for them, not to remind them necessarily, not to tell them or try to change them. Life will do that, but just as silently or as kindly as possible, support them and love them in an unconditional way. This is friendship, spiritual friendship. Be a friend to the soul and forgive everything else. And feel yourself becoming purified in the experience yourself because you're learning to relate to people in a deeper, more divine way. And this is what will save you. This is what will help you to remember in the most difficult times that you too are divine, that you too are a child. And it's okay to make mistakes doesn't change who you are because your intentions are pure and you're doing the best that you can. And so remember this for yourself and remember this for your special friend or partner and make a commitment in your heart to never forget and to never hold them down but instead, see them now gliding like a bird through the skies of life on wings of freedom and joy and trust. Because people like you help them to develop that trust in man and in our higher nature by relating to them as a soul, instead of just a limited human being. See them rise in freedom, gliding through life, empowered partially by your love, and more correctly, empowered by the love that flows through you into them in silent, loving, harmonious support, unconditional love. See their eyes, and every time you see their eyes, remember to feel love in your heart before you speak and before you act. Feel the love first and trust it to be your guide to perfect friendship and perfect love. Rest in perfect love.